Hello again, this is Dan Delicia with Lowe's Marine Sales in Naples, Florida. And today we are offering a 2015 Sea Hunt 30 foot game fish. This is a big offshore fisherman with a, a 9 foot 9 beam and a nice flare to the bow. Great ocean going vessel. And it's got a lot of nice amenities inside to accommodate all kinds of passengers. It's powder blue and white gel coat color. Uh, it also has a, a polished, uh, sta polished stainless steel plow anchor with a Lumar stainless steel uh, electric windlass. It's packaged with this 2021 Ace trailer. It's a triple axle aluminum trailer, 15,000 pound capacity uh, with disc brakes. And it also includes a spare wheel and spare hub. Let's take a look at the gel coat. It's pretty shiny, real nice. The bottom's clean, it's never been kept in the water overnight. It was used primarily down in the Keys, and brought to us just last week. There's the side door that opens up inside. So this is the port side. There's your trailer with your triple axles, 15 inch wheels. It's powered with a pair of Yamaha 300 horsepower four strokes. This is max power for the vessel. There you see them there. Lenko trim tabs that are recessed. There's a pull out ladder right here. Going to the starboard side, blue and white gel coat again. Looking pretty nice. We're approaching the side of the bow you see the flare design to it at the very tippy top of this flare there's a little bit of damage about two inches long well, it looks like maybe a pole must have been chafing at it so this area is about six inches by two inches that needs to be addressed other than that the exterior hull is in great shape here's the bottom the trailer looks brand new like i said it was just purchased this year, I think. Earlier this year. All right, let's step on board. Walking through the transom door here, you'll see it's got a transom fish box and a transom live well. Here's an overview of the interior. This is the coffin box model. It's got the coffin box forward and it's got some aft seating. Uh, console here, the F seating for two with live wells underneath. It's got nice bolster seats for the for the helm with flip bottoms. Going forward is the coffin, as they call it, which doubles as a lounger with armrests. Some of the upholstery has some open seams. As you can tell, the coffin box cushion is opened here, and some of this is still messed up here. This is starting to open up, so this could be reconditioned. The bolsters, however, are nice and solid, straight, original, no damage to them. Stepping up to the bow is the anchor locker with the stainless steel windlass, nice polished 10 kilogram plow anchor with foot pedals right here or hand pedals up and down looking aft you see the coffin box you see the solid fiberglass t-top auxiliary LED light powder coated t-top aluminum no bubbling all the way down all solid nice tall windshield this is actually the powder blue paint on the inside and white on the outside. Here's your helm seats. Lots of rod storage back here, LED lights, stereo speakers. It's ready for outriggers. You get the outrigger mounts. A little bit of powder coating that's lifting up right there. Electronics box with the VHF radio. At the helm, you have dual screen 12 inch SIMRADs. These are real nice units. 
You can go chart plotter on one and you can go fish finder on the other. This also has autopilot. It's got the tilt telescope or tilt wheel, um, C star wheel. It's called the Optimus steering system, which is power steering on both engines. I'll show you more about that later. Uh, this is the uh, Yamaha engine monitoring system. All your digital data is all in this little box here. This is the autopilot right next to you at the helm. Lenko trim tabs, push start switch and stop switches, one key. Uh, electronic shifter. These shifter controls are fly-by-wire technology. They're really easy to operate. Here we are again at the helm. Electronic shifter controls. Nice big screen SIMRAD units. Infinity stereo, Bluetooth. All your controls, your switches are right easily accessible there. Tall windshield. Lots of protection. Your helm seats with a footrest. All right, going aft, you have the transom uh, fish box right here. Fish box is large, uh, 240 quarts, they call it. The transom live well is in the corner here, and that's 27 gallons. There's also a um, pitch bait live well. I believe it's built into this seat here. These are insulated live wells. So you got plenty of storage for your bait and catch. This is also connected to that other hatch. Down here near the bilge is access to all your pumps. Live well pumps, fresh water and raw water wash down pumps. These two big pumps are your power steering pumps, one for each engine. And that's a C-Star power steering system. Makes it a breeze to steer and a breeze to shift. The 300 Yamis are really nice. Um, the paint is really good, except for a little bit on the top, which is starting to fade. It's normal from the sun down here in Florida, but the sides are flawless. Okay, there you have it, 2015 Sea Hunt 30 Game Fisher. One more thing I forgot to tell you about. It's got a large uh, enclosed head with a flushing toilet, holding tank, and a, a sink, freshwater sink. There's your battery switches. Hey, give me a call. My name is Dan Delisio. I'm at 239-571-4500. Thanks a lot. Okay, here are the Yamaha 300s on this 2015 Sea Hunt Game Fisher. These engines only have 180 hours on them. Original motors with the boat, 180 hours on a whole boat and engines. Uh, recent, last service was done in April of 2020 at 121 hours, and it's got 180 on the meters right now. Okay, I don't see any corrosion whatsoever. Here's the port engine. Lots of plastic components on these engines. The aluminum block and aluminum heads don't have any seepage whatsoever. They're looking great. Tilt and trims look good. Saltwater series 20, wait a minute, 20 pitch props. Is that possible? Oh, geez. There we have it.